Okay, finding sun here so you can see me. Dog walk story time. Um, for some reason, I really enjoy doing um, story time when I take my dog for her walk. Um, one of those reasons is because I don't get distracted by people coming outside and you know, completely ignoring the fact that I'm fucking doing something and start running their mouth and, you know, with all their bullshit. Um, so, you guys don't know this, but about probably almost a month ago now, uh, my mom, I sent her down to San Francisco to see one of her friends. Um, uh, gave her some cash and everything she has money but I just wanted to you know kind of do it for her because my mom's real frugal with her money and she wanted to go see one of her friends and you know she kept going back and forth with oh I don't know if I want to spend the money and this and that so I just uh rather than having her drive by her well her friend one of her friends was riding with her but Rather than doing that, I just bought them both a plane ticket. And, uh, you know, they went down to San Francisco, visited their friend in the, uh, in, uh, he's in, like, sorry about this, I'm crossing through a little wooded area. He's in, uh, you know, like one of these, uh, you know, assisted type living places. You know, he's getting old and getting a little senile and, this and that, but anyway, they wanted to go visit him, so anyway, I sent her down there so she could, hang on, let me help the dog get untangled from her leash here, she doesn't fucking care, but I do, because I have OCD like a motherfucker, um, anyway, while she was there, um, I took the dog for this very walk, and uh, while I was on the walk, somebody with balls that must be the size of a fucking bowling ball broke into my house. Because, uh, you know, to break into a house with a fucking Hells Angels flag outside and uh, all kinds of support shit, you know... Um, not to mention, you know, breaking into a dude's house that has freaking, you know, I think in total I have about 40 guns and weigh 265 pounds, you know, and uh, this is a small town, so it's not as if, you know, they didn't know whose house they were fucking with. But, uh, maybe they didn't, you know, shit, I don't know. It's not like I'm fucking famous or anything. But, um, anyway. Oh, look, somebody left some condoms in the street. I've never fucked a girl in the middle of the street. Have you guys? Um. Anyway, while they were gone, the house, somebody, somebody burglarized our house. And, uh, took a lot of really expensive shit. Because, uh, you know, I like I pride myself on if I'm going to get something, I'm going to get the best. So, uh, you know, they took uh, a, a big 65-inch smart TV. One of those new ones that has that fucking curve to the screen. And uh, didn't get any of my guns because they were all in the, you know, most of them were in the gun safe and shit. And, uh, the ones that weren't were kind of well hidden. Normally when I'm home, I have a loaded gun in every room, including the bathrooms. But, uh, anyway, they took, uh, this TV, took a lot of my jewelry, took a couple of Breitling watches, you know, and that's, you know, 10 grand right there. Uh, took, uh, a uh, couple of uh, gold, diamond and gold rings. I didn't. I never wear them, but you know, it's still thousands of dollars worth of shit. Um, took uh, two computers, two 
um, really fucking fancy laptop computers and um, a couple of really expensive knives. Um, I, I'm a weapons, um, kind of a weapons collector. So yeah, took a couple of really expensive knives. Um, anyway, in total, it took about $15,000 worth of shit. So I called the police. They didn't even fucking come out. They, like, took the report over the phone. So then, you know, I called the insurance company. The insurance company sends this thing. It says, uh, you know, list what was taken. List the condition it was in, the age, how much it cost, and how you paid for it. Well, shit, I paid for everything in cash. So, anyway, that's that. Not that they're not going to reimburse me, but... So, uh, I spoke with them again today because I don't feel like it'd be really hard to, you know what I mean, add those numbers up to a total and send your boy a check. And the lady said, uh, well, if you go and replace your stuff, you know, go rebuy all this stuff and then send us the receipts you'll get reimbursed faster. And I went, oh, okay. And then I started thinking about that, and I went, so they want me to go out and spend another 15, 20K, you know, to replace this stuff, and uh, then send them the receipts. And then in my mind, I still run that, that off chance that in some way they'll dispute my claim and then I'm out you know 35 or 40 K because they fucking you know what originally got stolen and me going out and spending another 20 K on fucking replacing it so I started thinking about it I'm like well fuck I need my shit or want or whatever you want to call it um want to get my mom her new computer my uncle can do his own thing um i think he's already replaced his computer anyway but um he's a whole nother story time he and i don't really talk we don't get along and that has to do with uh him fucking you know basically i don't know how else to put it just being a, a kind of a piece of shit um you know he doesn't pay for anything doesn't pay chip in on any of the bills uh only buys food that he eats and uh lives in our house for free so he's got this money that he gets from the veterans because he's a vet and his social security and this and that so you know he's got money not that I don't, but it's just a matter of, uh, you know, he goes out and replaces all his shit. He doesn't, you know, I wouldn't want him to replace mine. If he did, I wouldn't accept it. But he could offer to replace my mom's stuff, considering she's given him a place to live since his divorce 15 years ago when he came to live here and said it would be a few weeks. Now... Over the course of that 15 years, I've allowed him to live in my house in Las Vegas for free. Um, I've allowed his friends to rent out my other house here. And uh, they never paid their rent. Um, the dude always said he was uh, in between jobs and this and that. But he'd get me, he, he'd pay it. And mind you, I never spoke to this guy. I just kind of took fucking mom's brother's uh, word. And uh, so now I kind of feel that he's the one that owes me this money. Anyway, that's, that's that. Like I said, he's a whole other fucking story time. But uh, so now, now I have this quandary of 
do I go out and spend probably what will be closer to 25 grand because I'm going to go get the same stuff, but I'm going to get the brand new shit, whichever year they improve it, and when they improve it, it costs more. I mean, I had a fucking iPad Pro. Um, it was like the best fucking iPad that they made. It was only like six months old. The fucking thing cost almost 2,000 bucks. Um, they took that. Both the laptops they took were close to fucking five grand a piece. Um, which is why I don't have a lot of the stuff I would normally use to make and edit these videos. Because they, they took everything. As a matter of fact, even the phone I'm on right now is, uh, you know, it's a Samsung Droid. But I bought it outright and I just used prepay. Um, because they took, um, I didn't take my phone at the time on, on my walk, so they took two, um, brand new iPhone 6 Pluses out of the house, which, you know, as you guys know, those are 700 bucks a piece when you buy them outright, and I buy everything outright because... I don't like to, you know, I even buy my cars outright. So, oh, and like a fucking, like a power washer and a generator out of the garage. You know, as time goes on, you notice more and more things that are missing. Took a few pairs of my Gucci shades, which I didn't even notice until the sun came out because fucking, dude, I'm not wearing sunglasses because it's not sunny. So, that alone is a thousand dollars worth of sunglasses, ten thousand dollars worth of watches, about close to ten thousand dollars worth of computers and phones, um, almost two grand for an iPad, um, probably five grand worth of uh, diamond and gold rings. And I mentioned the, the watches, the Breitling watches. I buy Brightlings because they're bigger. You know, I'm a bigger guy. And Rolex only makes, you know, their watches don't... They look like women's watches on me. Even though I like Rolex watches. If they'd make an oversized one, I'd be all over it. So anyway, I buy the Brightling watches. And the ones that I buy are, uh, you know, they're solid gold. Cause I like yellow gold, I'm old school. With diamonds and shit in them. Not a lot of diamonds, but like, diamonds where the numbers would be and shit like that. You know, not diamond bezels or anything. Not like wrapper watches, but, you know, diamond, diamond, like a big diamond where the 12 would be. And, uh, you know, maybe a couple others. Anyway, um, so, in total they got probably about, 15 grand worth of jewelry, 15 grand worth of electronics. So, yeah, closer to $30,000 worth of shit. And that's not counting the stuff I view as little stuff, like, uh, you know, $1,000 worth of sunglasses and, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, so, now I have to decide if I want to spend another 30K replacing this stuff, and mind you, like I told you guys in a previous video, I want to get another new car pretty soon. And the, the cars that I buy are no less than freaking 50, 50 grand anyway. So, um, so I'm looking at spending, you know, $80,000 right now in uh god damn it my time's running out again let me uh let me wrap this and i'll pick it up in just a second bear with me